5 Little Known Facts About the Rothschilds The Rothschild family is one of the most prominent and historically influential families in the world, with a legacy dating back centuries. Over the years, various myths, conspiracy theories, and little-known facts have circulated about this enigmatic and wealthy dynasty. While they have played a significant role in finance, politics, and philanthropy, some aspects of their history and activities remain shrouded in mystery. Hello there, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, take a glimpse into the complexities and controversies surrounding the Rothschilds' enduring legacy. But before we proceed, please give this video a like and make sure to hit that subscribe button. Number 5. The Rothschilds have more money than any other family in history. This might come as a bit of surprise to some people, given that if you look through the entire rich list that Forbes has compiled, you won't find a single mention of the world Rothschild anywhere on their list of the 500 wealthiest persons on the planet. This is due to the fact that the wealth of the Rothschild family has been passed down through hundreds of heirs over the course of many years, which has reduced the overall value of each individual's particular fortune. There are still a significant number of extremely affluent people in the world who share the Rothschild surname, despite the fact that the wealth of the Rothschild family has been significantly diluted. Jacob Rothschild, a British banker, has a fortune estimated to be somewhere around 5 billion US dollars. Whereas Sir Evelyn de Rothschild, also a British financier, has a fortune estimated to be around 20 billion dollars. Number 4. Mayor Amschel Rothschild's five sons all had respectable lives. Let's use the term noble to refer to the fact that all five of Mayor Amschel Rothschild's sons were bestowed titles of nobility by Emperor Francis I of Austria. Strangely, only four of the five brothers were given this historical noble status in 1816, with the fifth brother being left out of this exclusive club until 1818. In 1822, Emperor Francis I bestowed upon the five brothers, Amschel Mayer, Salomon Mayer, Nathan Mayer, Kalman Mayer, and Jacob Mayer, the title of Freyer, which is the equivalent of a baron. Some members of the Rothschild family, in respect to the noble status of the surname, use the de or von prefix. Hereditary nobility has been bestowed upon more than only the five brothers of the Rothschild family. Both Sir Anthony de Rothschild and his son Nathan Mayer Rothschild II were given the title Baron Rothschild by the British government, the former in 1847 and the latter in 1885. Indeed, what a wonderful clan! Number 3. Nathan Mayer Rothschild was the mastermind behind the victory in the Napoleonic Wars. The Napoleonic Wars broke out in 1803, lasted across the continent for 12 years, and finally ended in 1815. The Rothschild family had already amassed an impressive amount of money by the time the Napoleonic Wars broke out, but they waited until 1813, near the war's end, to take action. At this time, Nathan Mayer Rothschild saw the imminent danger that Napoleon posed to his commercial interests and made the decision to actively participate in the fight to defeat the French tyrant. As the single most important person in terms of providing funding for the British war efforts, Nathan Mayer Rothschild entered the fray in 1813. The Duke of Wellington's soldiers stationed across Europe need valuable metals. Therefore, this process began with their delivery. On top of that, Nathan Mayer invested a ton of money in supporting the British allies, including around $10 million in 1815 by itself, which is roughly $900 million in today's currency. Nathan Mayer and his brother's massive finance operation was the single most important factor in Napoleon's downfall and the conclusion of the Napoleonic Wars. As we'll see, he didn't just do this out of the kindness of his heart. He took full advantage of the situation. Number 2. Nathan Mayer Rothschild was responsible for the acquisition of the British economy. The story of how Nathan Mayer Rothschild became filthy rich after the Battle of Waterloo is part of the family's lore. Because of the Rothschild's vital role in coordinating Britain's war efforts during the Napoleonic Wars, the five brothers had amassed a vast network of couriers, shippers, and most importantly, agents. 
News swiftly reached London that the Battle of Waterloo, conducted near Brussels, Belgium, would be lost, despite Napoleon's initial success. However, help was on the way, and the British ultimately prevailed in the big fight. This is where the involvement of a Rothschild family agent becomes relevant. In order to get back to London and update Nathan Mayer Rothschild first, he headed out immediately. The agent paid top dollar to take a boat over the rough waters from Ostend, Belgium, and he arrived in London well before anyone else could deliver the news. At this point, the legend becomes confusing, with some telling us that he went to the government offices first, while others say he went straight to the London Stock Exchanges. According to urban legend, Nathan Mayer visited the London Stock Exchange and liquidated all of his federal bonds in an attempt to crash prices. Everyone else joined in, convinced that Waterloo was a lost cost. Then, in an at-the-last-moment blitz, Nathan Mayer purchased as many low-cost government bonds as he could. The price of these bonds skyrocketed once the news of Britain's triumph at Waterloo spread, generating enormous profits for the Rothschild clan. Number 1. The Rothschild family is the powerful force behind both the Swiss Canal and Brazil's government. They truly did touch every aspect of society. In the 19th century, whenever a large sum of money was required, a member of the Rothschild family was on hand to provide it. For instance, they played a role in building and now own the Suez Canal in Egypt, which links the Red Sea and the Mediterranean Sea and plays a crucial role in trade between Europe and Asia. Britain's choice to buy into the canal was heavily influenced by the wealthy Rothschild family. Actually, this caused friction because then-British Prime Minister Benjamin Disraeli made the call without consulting Parliament. The Rothschilds' role in the independence of Brazil in the 1820s is another illustration of their participation in political and global events. During this time, the Brazilian Empire was actively working toward its goal of achieving independence from Portugal. Eventually, after several conflicts, the Portuguese agreed to let Brazil become independent in exchange for compensation. Nathan Mayer Rothschild alone fronted the money for this £2 million fee. Also, per the terms of the deal, Brazil would assume the debt owned by the Portuguese government to Nathan Mayer's NM Rothschild and Sons. The interest the Rothschild collected on the loans ensured a substantial return on investment for the business. In conclusion, the Rothschild family's history is intertwined with a web of myths, rumors, and little-known facts that have fueled intrigue and controversy for centuries. While they have undeniably played a significant role in the world of finance and politics, the plethora of information surrounding the family has led to both admiration and skepticism. While there may always be aspects of the Rothschild story that remain shrouded in mystery, continued research and exploration of reputable sources will provide a clearer perspective on the true narrative of this fascinating and influential family. Tell us what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos. Once again, this is Luxury X and thank you for watching. See you on the next one.